Welcome to the channel. I'm Tony the Technician. Today we're going to be going into the Harbor Freight website and checking out some of their new tools. If you guys follow the channel, you guys know that I like to do these videos every two or three weeks. It's been a little bit longer than that, so we do have a few more items to go over. So I'm going to try and quickly get through them. Uh, but please, if you guys have any experience with any of these tools already, please let me know down in the comments. I'll share my thoughts on these tools with you guys. And uh, I really hope you guys enjoy. So first up is an item that I was not expecting to see, and there are actually a few items that we're going to see that I wasn't really expecting to see released at Harbor Freight. First up is the Hercules 20 volt brushless cordless 16 gauge nibbler. This is a cordless tool only nibbler. Not only are nibblers amazing, but I personally have never used a cordless one. Not really something I ever come across either. So when I saw this released, I was quite surprised. I have seen the shears. I know Hercules has the shears, uh, but this was quite a surprise. So. If you guys have ever used a cordless nibbler, please let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comments and your guys' thoughts on Hercules releasing their own. But yes, I have seen and used styles like this, the shears, but never the nibbler. I've always used air nibblers, so kind of interesting. It would definitely be a really handy tool if it performs as it should. So I'll show you just kind of quickly the product overview. So if you guys would like to pause and take a look at that but we are going to quickly move on that is at 120 dollars the same price as their shears as well next is a bit style that i never really use i don't really use double-ended drill bits but they have released from bauer eighth inch double-ended titanium drill bits this is a four-piece set for five dollars 135 degree split point titanium coated then they have the central machinery an inch by 18 inch five speed half horsepower benchtop wood lathe lathes are always extremely handy to have uh, I unfortunately don't have room otherwise I would like to own a lathe not really much of a wood lathe but still nice to see this being released at Harbor Freight this already has five stars with one review at $300 lathes can get quite expensive I've always been wary of buying cheap ones though uh, not just wood lathes but lathes in general just because normally you want a lathe to be something pretty precise at least when you're doing metal work maybe you have a little bit more leeway with wood woodwork i'm not huge into the woodworking but um yeah doesn't seem like a bad little deal for the size then they have another predator generator this is a 13,000 watt tri-fuel portable generator with remote start uh, they have quite a large lineup of generators and this one's uh pretty impressive the size as well as the price especially for this size some of these generators can get really expensive and actually predator does a good job of including quite a bit of features uh for its price point and everything that you get so here you can just see some of the other ones a little bit smaller units and then here's just a little bit of information on it if you guys would like to pause everything that it includes tri fuel it runs on gasoline propane and natural gas 458 cc engine the remote start and stop increased mobility with the 10 inch wheels this is basically going to be the exact same information that you saw up top in the bullet points just kind of explained a little bit further in detail ideal uses what you can power another one that i was not expecting icon is actually coming out with some pretty decent specialty tools uh, the first one we're seeing here is the diagnostic smoke machine i've used uh, smoke machines in the past they are a very handy diagnostic tool especially for like exhaust leaks or evap system checks checking for leaks uh, definitely a really handy tool they actually include quite a bit there you got a little inflator so you can plug off one side of the exhaust and run smoke through it it comes with a decent amount of stuff you got a light there rechargeable there you can see they've used the expandable expandable pump to block off the intake helps identify tractor warm evap system components cooling system leaks exhaust leaks and wind or water intrusion so it definitely has a lot of different uses includes combination led flashlight there you can see a little bit more information runs on 150 psi maximum compressed air 12 volt battery not a whole lot of information like the, the previous item that we looked at but there's just a little bit more of everything included over here the exhaust cone evap ser service port kit and a bunch of other adapters and uh, pretty nice little kit now this is five hundred dollars which might seem expensive i think as long as the the durability of these units hold up i think it's going to be a great addition because some of these smoke machines do get very very expensive you can see here 
Obviously, I hate when they always compare Icon stuff to Snap-on. It's not in the same league, but you can see just how expensive the Snap-on one is at $1,600. So I was pleasantly surprised to see Icon release something like this. While I do see Icon and other brands, you know, releasing specialty tools at Harbor Freight, this is not something that you just easily come across. It's not something that's released by a lot of people or companies. So uh, I thought that was a pretty nice addition. And at that price, even though it is expensive for, you know, obviously if you're going to do one or two jobs in your lifetime, this probably isn't going to be worth it. You'd probably be better off, you know, taking your vehicle to somebody and paying a couple hundred dollars for them to actually diagnose and fix your vehicle than to pay $500 for it. But if you do a decent amount of work and you could justify this, this is definitely an item that could definitely help out in a lot of different situations. Pipe threading ratchet and handle for $40 from Doyle. And then here they have finally released the trim kits for the toolbox. This is for the 72 inch. This is for the bottom, the top, and the hutch. And then they also have it for the 56, top, bottom, and hutch. Then the 42 inch toolbox, bottom, top, the 27 inch, top and bottom, and the kit for the end locker and the end cabinet. So definitely. Uh, nice to see that they finally released all of the trim kits for all of the boxes that they've released so far. Uh, and they definitely seem affordable. So there you can see you can get it in chrome or titanium. Obviously, the price is going to vary there. So here you can actually see it on a box. Why they show it on just a gray image, I don't know. But So there you can kind of see the difference there. I don't know why it defaults back, but very nice to see because... Even though I do like the black, the black is what I prefer. I know there are still those out there that prefer the more chrome look. McGraw 6-inch self-vacuuming random orbit uh, sander for $35. That's always nice. Uh, and then another one, it's funny because I just saw an ad for this literally like two minutes before I started this video. Uh, this the Icon T8 Professional Intelligent Diagnostic Scanner at $900. Now... It is a lot cheaper than the i, or it is a lot cheaper than the Snap-on at you know almost thirty-five hundred dollars. You see there, and normally when it comes to things like this, I would say you know check around Amazon. You know there's a lot of other brands out there that offer scan tools just like this, but a lot of those like Launch, I have a lot of experience with, and Autel and all these other brands that you see on Amazon, they do have some good products. The issue is if you can't figure something out or if you're trying to figure out if the unit does this or does it have this feature, they don't have the best customer service, all of all of them. Like unless you get a tool truck brand, a lot of those, 90% of those brands that you find on Amazon and stuff like that, the customer service is not going to be great. The updates, uh, even though a lot of them are free depending on the unit that you buy. It's just questionable at best, even though some of them do make some really good units. The level of care that comes with them could be the fallback to them where the Snap-on uh, is basically going to be able to do anything you need and you'll know exactly what it can do while there are costs to updates and stuff like that. There's definitely pros and cons to each, so it really depends on how much are you actually going to use this tool. And for for $900, you're actually getting a really good unit here uh, for what it's capable of. So here I'll just let you guys kind of read this section if you guys would like. Powered by Identifix. It's got code assist with over 4 million real technician fixes and faster repairs. So you're basically going to have input. And this has been being done by multiple different companies in the past. Uh, they've basically got anybody that owns this brand of code reader. Uh, you work on this situation and you come across, you know, hey, this is what happened in my scenario. This is what I did to fix it. And basically they gather all of this information from all of these different technicians and you get like, it's basically a bunch of tips and tricks and common issues that can be related to the issue that you're having. It can be a huge help. Powerful 2.0 gigahertz quad core processor, four gigabytes of memory, lag-free operation, large eight inch high definition IPS touchscreen, multi-touch stylus, quick, quick and easy use, wireless vehicle communication for 1996 and newer, OBD2, professional level diagnostics, including read and graph live data, special function, bi-directional controls. It always, it's always nice to have bi-directional controls so you can actually command on and off certain things. 
internet connection required for all scanner functions, includes a two-year subscription to Identifix, Code Assist, and Diagnostic Software. And if you guys want, I'm not going to go through all of this because when it comes to scan tools, there's a lot of information that goes into these and a lot of when you get into a size scan tool like this, there's a lot to go over and I could make a video just dedicated to this unit, even without having any experience with it. This uh, is very much set up just like my launch one, um, but I'm, I think this one's going to have a little bit more access to certain diagnostic features and a little bit better layout from what I'm seeing. So definitely a lot that can be done with this and especially at the $900 price range, some might think that's a little high, but if you do your fair share of diagnostics, one of these can be invaluable. Uh, especially if this is going to do everything that it says it can, which you guys can see here, the snap on on the right, icon on the left, you can just kind of see auto ID with VIN scan. I mean, it's that's something I would expect, especially when you get that on a $15 code reader. I would expect that on a basically a thousand dollar scan tool. So once again, if you guys are interested in this, I definitely consider checking out the Harbor Freight website, digging into the details. I didn't go over everything. There's a lot to kind of slide through and read. But from my understanding, it looks like a pretty solid little unit there. Then they've got the Mastered Interchangeable Polar Set. This is at $200, another one from Icon. But as you can see here, 62 or 64 configurations and two jaw, jaw setup for removing alternators, generators, power, steering pulleys, crankshaft pulleys, timing gears, pitman arms, harmonic balancers, and more. So uh, just kind of a really large kit for you know your pulling needs. $200. Uh, once again, when you get into specialty tools like this, now Icon, that's three items that we've went over today on the Icon specialty tools lineup that they've released. And I think that's roughly where we left off. I think we've already went over this, unless it was the 3.8 set that we went over. This is just a low-profile impact socket set, which can be absolutely fantastic for those tight situations. Not only are these great on impacts, uh, if you have a stubby impact or anything like that, you can get in some really tight spaces where you can throw this on a ratchet. But you can also use it without a ratchet. It's got the hex base, so you can actually use a wrench on it. So you, if you're in extremely tight areas, you can really gain access to it. Uh, so really, it doesn't get much smaller than this unless you're just using a wrench. <laughs> so a back probe kit, I don't know if we went over that, but a back probe kit can definitely be a handy tool. Being able to access the back of connectors without disassembling a connector or taking the chance of destroying a connector, back probes can definitely save a lot of time and headache in diagnosing. And at $15, I think it would even be worth a, a try. This is from Maddox. Seems like a nice little set. But that's it. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please make sure to smash that thumbs up. Leave a comment down below of your guys' thoughts on some of these items, especially the, the three icon tools that they've released for specialty items. And if you guys haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.